All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a recipe here that will knock your socks off. Now, have you ever been to a Mexican restaurant and had something called fried ice cream? Or have you ever gone to an American restaurant and had baked Alaska? Well, this is sort of the same idea. We're taking ice cream, we're insulating it with meringue, and we are baking it. So, baked ice cream. All right, so this is really easy. The only important thing that you need to know is the bowl that you're going to make the meringue in has to be completely, completely free of any oil or any fats. Otherwise, the meringue won't build up. Okay, so make sure you get some dish soap and get in there and, uh, you know, it should be pretty squeaky clean. Okay, so for the ingredients, this is pretty easy. We have three eggs. Uh, we have about a quarter cup of sugar and we have some ice cream. Okay, any ice cream will do. We happen to have coconut gelato. All right, so here we go. All right, so we're gonna start with some eggs that I've left out on the counter for a couple of hours. This is the second tip. Make sure the eggs are at room temperature. Okay, this is gonna make this meringue fluff up really quickly, okay? So here we go, some nice brown eggs. All right, so this is what a real egg looks like. I just pulled this out of my chicken coop and this here is a chicken butt feather, okay? So it doesn't get any fresher than this. All right, let's continue. So, cracking eggs. If you've ever been to a Parisian egg cracking school, and yes, there is such a thing, they'll teach you that cracking an egg is best done on a flat surface, okay? If you crack it on the edge of this, it's gonna drive eggshell into the egg, so we don't wanna do that. We're gonna do it on a flat surface. So here we go, cutting board, okay? Break those in half, okay? And the easiest way to separate this, just use your hands. Okay, let the egg white flow through your fingers and get rid of the yolk. Okay, there you go. Okay, egg number two. Okay, I'm gonna let that egg white go through my fingers. Okay. Boom, egg number three. Now, if I get any of this egg yolk in here, I'm going to have to start again. Because like I said before, it just will not work if there's any uh, oil or any fat in this, okay? All right, now you can use all sorts of things to make this meringue. You can use a stand mixer, you can use a hand whisk, you can use an electric mixer. I happen to have a rechargeable hand blender here with a whisk attachment. Okay, this is from Cuisinart. This is really handy. It's always hanging around on my wall and anytime I need to whisk anything, I just grab this off the wall. It sits on the charger and it's ready to go. No need to mess with wires or cables. I really, really recommend this. All right, so here we go. Okay, so I'm not gonna add any sugar just yet. We're just gonna get this to mix a little bit before I add the sugar. All right, now that it's getting frothy, I have my quarter cup of sugar here, okay? And so I've actually added like half of that. So it's one eighth cup of sugar. All right, so how far do we go with this, okay? Well, this is a really good test. This is what I always do. And if you can take the bowl and you can lift it upside down like this and the meringue doesn't fall out, then it's stiff enough, all right? So now on to the next step. Okay, so for this part, I have some coconut gelato here, and I have two ramekins. Okay, so I'm gonna fill each ramekin with coconut gelato. Okay, let's pack it in there. All right, and then I'm gonna take some of this meringue, and I'm going to pack the top of each of these ramekins. Now, what this is gonna do, like I said before, this is gonna insulate the ice cream. So when we put it under the broiler, the ice cream's gonna stay cold and the meringue is gonna cook. Okay. When I do this dessert, I call it cocoa in the clouds. So I like to make my meringue look like fluffy clouds. All right, there we go. So now it's gonna go under the broiler and you know, just for a few seconds and then it's gonna come out. Okay, so you wanna set your oven to broil. Okay, broil 
550, start. Alright, so this is the crucial part about putting these in the oven, is you do not want to take your eyes off them. Okay, so just put them under the broiler, and as soon as they start getting, you know, like a dark brown, you take them out right away. Never ever walk away from something that you're broiling. Okay, I see a little smoke coming off them, and just for a few seconds longer, Almost done. And there we go. Pull these guys out. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to make baked ice cream. Okay, now check these things out. If I go right in here, I'm gonna go through a layer of really nice cooked meringue, and at the bottom it's gonna be this really nice cold ice cream. Wow, this is quite a dessert. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your subscriptions help me make more videos. This program is brought to you in part by Cuisinart. Savor the good life.